Rabies is a fatal viral disease affecting the central nervous system of mammals. It is caused by the highly neurotrophic rabies virus. The disease is transmitted via contaminated saliva through bites, scratches, wounds, mucosal exposure, and very rarely through transplanted neurologic tissues such as cornea. Animals that transmit the disease include canines such as dogs and foxes, cats, bats, raccoons, or any other kind of mammal. So, in this video I'm going to discuss about the signs and symptoms of rabies. If you are looking for a more comprehensive lecture, you can watch my previous video on rabies, the link to that video is in the description below. Following a bite or scratch, the virus enters muscle tissue and then into the motor neurons of the peripheral nervous system. The virus follows a prolonged incubation period, which means that the initial symptoms of rabies appear about 20 to 90 days after the exposure. During this period, the virus remains hidden from the immune system. The symptoms of rabies occur in two phases. Initial phase is the prodromal phase, followed by the acute neurologic phase. Prodromal phase starts as the virus enters the central nervous system. Duration of this period is around 2 to 10 days. During this period, nonspecific symptoms start to develop, including fever and a flu-like illness. Paresthesia, pain, and intense itching at the site of inoculation is pathognomonic for rabies. Other symptoms in this phase include loss of appetite, headache, pharyngitis, nausea, diarrhea, sleeping difficulties, agitation, and depression. Acute neurologic phase is progressive, starting with central nervous system signs, and the patient ultimately goes into paralysis and coma, followed by death. However, some patients may die immediately after reaching the acute neurologic phase. About two-thirds of patients will have furious rabies, which is characterized by agitation, restlessness, muscle fasciculations, seizures, hallucinations, episodic delirium, and inability to speak. With time, these signs and symptoms become episodic, and in between, calm and cooperative periods can be seen. Furious episodes last for less than five minutes, and they are triggered by visual, auditory, or tactile stimuli. Hydrophobia is pathognomonic for rabies and occur in about 50% of cases. Attempting to drink water or having air blown to the face will trigger severe laryngeal spasms and a sensation of asphyxia. Other features of furious rabies include increased heart rate, anisocoria, a condition where the size of the pupils are different from each other, fixed pupillary dilation, also known as blown eyes, facial palsy, excessive salivation and lacrimation, and postural hypotension. Remaining one-third of patients will develop paralytic rabies. Here, the patient is relatively quiet compared to furious rabies. Fever, headache, and nuchal rigidity are prominent in paralytic rabies. Paralysis is symmetrical. In this phase, the patient will gradually progress into delirium, stupor, and coma, followed by death.